Hi there, I'm Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. Encaustic literally means to burn in. So I paint with beeswax and a torch and because it's mixed media, pretty much anything else I can get my hands on. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Consider subscribing and joining this artsy community. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, which helps me get introduced to more like-minded artsy folks like yourself. Good afternoon. Welcome to a, another studio vlog. I think this one's going to be slightly different. Um, I want to kind of sit down, have a conversation with you, but the studio is a complete disaster. So I thought maybe what I would do is kind of get the studio cleaned up, maybe put that on time lapse, show you some snippets of that while I have a conversation with you. So let me first show you the disaster of the studio. I have this area over here, which I don't normally have on camera because, well, there's boxes piled up and that's a random uh, camera mount. So that's there, empty easel, just a big disaster of a corner. And then if I flip around, here is the rest of the studio. Uh, there's another box that I have to go through. The jelly prints from the previous studio video and a disaster of a desk. There's a chair underneath there. So lots to be cleaned up here. And my camera's battery is going to die. So um, let me switch that out and I'll finish showing you the rest of the studio, the mess of it is because that's not all of it. All right, back to it have a new battery in here. Let me continue this uh, messy studio tour here. Over here, more remnants of the jelly plates paper pads that need to get put away. Actually, this one is out because I have to remember to order more because I'm down to just a few sheets of it. And then flipping over to my desk area, if I pull this chair out of the way, if I can, oh, knocking into everything else, you'll see more paper and supplies sitting on the desk along with some gelatin and various other items. And that paper is sitting on the desk for a couple of reasons. Um, the main reason is I got it for the new painting series, or in theory, the new painting series. And the reason it's still sitting on the desk is because I wanted to do a video showing you guys the new papers and what I got, all of like the new kind of supplies. However, I just haven't had time to do that yet. So I don't know, stay tuned for a video coming soon on that perhaps. Anyways, let me get some of the stuff cleaned up, what I know I can put away while I have a chit chat with you. All right, I have been thinking a lot about where I want this channel to go, where I want my art business to go, just in general, where I want things to go and how probably the next several months are going to look. And I don't want you to worry. I'm still going to be posting videos at least once a week. I'm actually even thinking about doing vlogmas, which sounds crazy. Actually, if you're interested, in me doing vlogmas where I would probably vlog as much as I humanly could possibly do, most likely about Monday through Friday, kind of five days a week thing from December 1st up until Christmas or maybe Christmas Eve, haven't decided yet on that. I'm thinking about it. So all of that to say is not to worry, I'm still going to be doing videos. They might just look maybe slightly different. So I feel like I'm in a season of kind of slowing down here, of kind of being more uh, conscientious, um, more deliberate 
in my slowing down um, and not the go, 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 go. I think for the past year and a half or so, we've been going crazy with me trying to run my art business, also all of the Barn Dominium stuff that we have going on. And I'm incredibly grateful to have the privilege to be able to do all of this stuff, but I'm getting slightly burnt out. And I know that burnt out word gets thrown around a lot these days. And so I'm just gonna kind of tell you my version of it. Because I was getting ready for the art show, I was feeling a lot of pressure to make large finished paintings. And um, you know, I put that completely on myself. And then I also wanted to film that for all of you. I really do like making YouTube videos, believe it or not. Um, so I'm feeling a little burnt out on creating a completely finished painting. I'm not feeling burnt out creativity wise. I just want to take a little bit of the pressure off of myself to create paintings um, with the end goal in mind to have a finished painting and hopefully ultimately the end goal in mind to sell those paintings. So saying all that, how does this uh, video, how does this YouTube channel look going forward if I'm not going to be creating paintings? The ultimate goal is to still be creating and painting, maybe just in more of a loose style. And hopefully those journals back there that I keep saying I want to get into and fill up sketchbooks and journals, hopefully in those I will be um, doing some stuff, taking you guys along the way for that. Um, just creating for the sake of creating and for the sake of experimenting and playing, not necessarily for the sake of creating a finished painting. I definitely don't want to be giving up my torch. Sorry, that's my phone. Sorry, darn spam. Anyway, I um, what I was saying, I don't want to give up painting with encaustic. I don't want to give up painting with my torch. I truly love the medium. So I just kind of wanted to come on here and maybe explain how this channel might be looking going forward. And that may have to do with a lot more experimenting, a lot more playing, that type of thing. I also am working towards a new series, but if you remember the last series that I did, the large paintings that I just finished up that I just talked about, I started those, I started some of those sketches back when we were in Ohio. So to really develop a painting series, and that there wasn't even that many paintings in that series. I think there was about six of them along with a bunch of sketches. But to really develop a painting series, I feel like for me at least, I need a good year and a half, probably a year to do that. Sorry, now they're leaving a voicemail. Anyways, <laughs> back to this conversation. Uh, those paintings took me at least a year and a half, if not more, to complete. And I feel like that was one of my um, favorite series. I was so proud of that series. And I put so much effort into that series. And I felt like it was worth it. So having said that, starting now a new series... I have a lot of kind of groundwork and I have a bunch of ideas going on in my head of what that groundwork is going to look like and I'm going to take you guys along with me for that but um, just know that I'm probably not going to be doing any large paintings here in the very near future. It'll probably be a, a little while before I do some large paintings. Which brings me to the corner of this studio and kind of part of the reason why I picked up the camera today and that is to tell you 
that I am actually going to be starting a new video series, if you will. And I'm going to call it starting over, which I think is kind of fitting for what I've been talking about. And again, because I don't want to give up painting and cost it completely, but I definitely need to be experimenting around with stuff leads me into this, I guess. <laughs> I keep, I feel like I'm rattling on here, but I'm getting to the point here. The point is I'm going to be redoing some pieces of art with the torch, with the encaustic paint, hence the series starting over and also why I'm in this corner of the studio because I have a box, <laughs> a box of art. I can't really tilt it very well, but I have a box of paintings that um, I, at one point in time or another, considered done. Let me put the box down. Like this painting, this painting. Let me see if there's, I'm sure there's more, but let me get you some more. This painting, this painting, several paintings that I once considered done, but now I just feel like Either one, they're not my style anymore, like this. It's pretty um, abstract, if you will, and I'm not really doing much abstract anymore. And then also paintings that I just don't feel like are up to the quality of what I've been painting at, like this. I like the bottom half. These trees are, to me, I don't like at all. They just need completely redone. So, hang on. I also have two boxes of unfinished encaustic paintings, smaller paintings, encaustic whips, if you will. So um, let me flip the camera around and show you a couple examples of those. These paintings are paintings kind of in process. Some of them don't have wax on them at all, like this particular one. It's just um, a kind of, I think, it's watercolor background. I'm not even sure what kind of background I used on this. Some of these just have uh, very first layers of wax, like this particular one. Some of them have some images on them. This one is just in bad shape. I don't even know what I'm doing with this one here. <laughs> some of them have some crochet on them. And again, this one has some images on it. Not a fan of these either. So um, who knows what we'll do with them. So the new series starting over is all about picking up where I left off with some of these pieces, completely starting over on some of these pieces, tweaking some just a little bit, just ever so slightly. I feel like some are really almost there, but um, that's what the new series is going to be for the YouTube video channel here. Um, and then of course I'll be doing other stuff in between all of that. but. I just wanted to take a moment and kind of explain where my head's at, where I'm thinking about taking the channel for probably the next several months, I'm thinking. Um, and yeah, like my plan also, just so you guys are know, I'm wanting to do a couple more um, art shows, art fairs next year. And some of them that I have my eye on are going to require a quicker setup time. Uh, they're only like an evening long, not a complete entire weekend like the big art shows. So I want to be able to take some of these little pieces with me, but I want to make sure that they're obviously complete and finished. So I'm going to be focusing on that kind of the next couple months um, with this. And then, like I said, along with hopefully getting in my art journals back there, a huge stack of them that are completely unfinished still, and working on the ideas for the new painting series, which will put, be most likely um, coming up in the next couple months as far as painting large. So I hope all this makes sense and I wasn't rambling on too much with this and I hope you enjoyed at least knowing where my head is at here. So for now, I'm going to put away my big easel and I'm going to focus on these smaller paintings, redoing them and just experimenting, playing, a little less pressure, a little more chillaxing 
all the good stuff. Um, I hope you guys are in for all of this, in for the ride. If there was anything that you had questions about, even from previous videos, definitely let me know. If you want me to show you an example of how I did something or another thing, let me know that too, because now seems like a good time to maybe do some of those videos if you needed any like how-to videos, if you will. I seem to have a little bit maybe more time for those for right now anyways. So um, no kind of short and sweet video, but just wanted to explain how this channel is going to look going forward for the next couple months um, so that you guys were all aware. If you like the video and are in for the ride, give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Stay tuned for more painting videos, more playing, more experimenting, all the good stuff, and of course, the torch. Thanks again. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.